edged and it flies. Off the blade, across the ground. Again, sitting deep in the crease is Rachel Priest. She's got some uh, damage done. Another strong cut and beautifully placed from there. So it's not always the case, but as we see, another beautiful boundary. Bold, trying to sweep and played over the top of it. And once again, it's becoming quite common in the WBBL. Long handle by Priest. Everyone stands and watches it fly over the boundary. It's nice and roomy. Brilliant view. Bad misfield there, though. That's going to be costly as well. It's clubbed over mid-wicket, and there's space once he hit it over the fielder. Continue to toss the ball up. It's a wayward delivery there from King, though, and Dupria is all over it. Into her, cramping her for room. As we see Priest going to the leg side. Opportunity just parried over for six. We say it sounds nice, and it looks nice to boot. Gets a short ball. Priest doesn't get all of it. Head goes down, and she's out. Did they cross will be the question for the umpire. Stands and delivers. Mignon Dupre goes up and over the top of Chamari Adipatu. To Gosh, it has gone a long way up, a long way indeed, and camped underneath it is Alana King with what might look to, like a simple catch, but it was more than that. Chance. Straight back to Mills. She is always in the action for the Perth Scorchers. What a move. Her third wicket this over. Just taking the two internationals. <laughs> Don't mind it. It was like she took it over her head. Threw up, bold. Off the pads and onto leg stump. The around the wicket approach works. It's nicely timed there from Strano. And again, challenge on the boundary. And there's a little fumble, so she finds in the batting lineup. Goes to the offside, does Ruth Johnson, and picks out Marazan Cap, who takes a simple cat. So I think, you know, there's not, you don't always have to go for the maximum. I think accumulating four. That has gone straight up. Now, has it gone to space is the question. Waiting patiently, yeah. Taken. Yeah, again, just going you know, a little aerial. Maybe better off just trying to flat bat it over mid-wickets. Oh. A <laughs> long way, very long way across the stumps goes Molly Strano. Opens up the onside. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> So Long handle from Valemic. Does she get? Oh, no, it's a misfield. It's gone long from Valemic. That's the area she likes to hit, but it is comfortably taken. <laughs> Belinda Vakarewa. Some nice movement too straight away. The breeze. And that's about there. But laid off by Devine. Uses the pace, finds the gap. For the Scorchers. Oh, that's not a Beth Mooney shot usually. And it's taken. Yeah, that's very nice indeed. It's huge. It's Beth Mooney. Alan Bird did, did, did a great job there. She's often out in the outfield, but just turning back, getting some good strides in early. Bending her head back and, and on strikers. And crunched hard at the top of the bounce from Divine. Siding. <laughs> Short ball pulled beautifully. And if she keeps bowling there, it might be her last wicket because she's getting a little bit of tap. Straight away, Divine goes after Strano and goes. Goes again, it's straight up in the air. Sophie Devine knows she should be out, and she is. Rachel Priest won't drop that broken finger or not. Pace on to Adipado, and she sits back and pulls it nicely. As it's picked up, hands went from low to high. She has some space. And it's clipped in the air to the onside. Molly Strano is after it, but is not. 
Well, Papara goes after this, gets quite a bit on it. It's very comfortable pulling. I thought that almost went for six. It was very close. Might need to watch a few. The call was down, 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 and not quick enough as Paparo plays nicely. And then she'll turn it back. That's through, and Rachel Priest takes the stumping. The skipper with runs in the first innings, a catch, and now the stumping. And that is brilliantly bold. A lot of air, too much air. And Heather Graham says, thank you very much. Jamari Antipadu uses the offside now, puts away the sweep shot, brings out the drive. Tries to get the movement away from Heather Graham. Heather Graham follows it and follows it beautifully. Leg line delivery, and it's worked fine there from Atapatu. Yeah, she's picked that up, and Rachel Priest is jumping in the air because Stalenberg has taken a very handy catch. She took one. Well, she's scored so many runs in that area, and this time the fielder perfectly placed. It's nicely timed from Cap. It's beautifully placed as well. In the last four games as Heather Graham off the back foot goes bang and have they got the wicket of Graham it's a big shout and it's given that is huge in the context of this game because Graham was taking it away from the Hobart Hurricanes straight across the line that is a big shout and is given LBW the last over was Graham to carry now Johnson it's a thick edge from King, and it's through. Gosh is at short third. Can't get a hand on it, and that will just ease things in the Scorchers camp. That is straight up in the air. Cap doesn't like it. The Hurricanes are waiting, watching as Strano takes the court and bold. Six from five needed. Peschel on strike. Bold. Still six, but this time from four, and another wicket falls. Well, what great death bowling this is from Nicola Carey. Deep breath from everyone on the ground. That's an interesting shot choice there from Lily Mills. Turns herself inside out and by the end of it all, Carey to Mills. Another swing and a miss. Does King race through? She doesn't. Brilliant from Carey so far. Gets a bit of pad on it. They will run through for the leg by five off one needed for the win. Four for the super over. What's Carey got? What's King got? Full straight. That's brilliant from Nicola Carey. Mills is in and out. The slide, the gather. And that is a brilliant win for the Hobart Hurricanes. It was a must win for them. They needed it as they were falling further and further down the ladder. They were up against...